Oh man, what a race. So um, I think Checkmate might win today. He's He's been talking to me all day though. And I don't know from when I went live. That's the question. Was it when I went live? But you know what? Since Ratchet, you've won it so many times. I'm, I'm going to give it to uh, to a new uh, face checkmate for today. Because he, he he did he did uh, chat me, like I think, right as I went live. These don't have timestamps, unfortunately. Then I can know for sure. Just no timestamps. No timestamps. I can't tell. Can't guarantee a win or a loss either way. So... We will go with that. 10 seconds, I'll do that after we switch over. Usually I try to do it in studio mode, but I'll just wait and we'll switch over in one. And let's go. Let's go, let's get her going. So the tournament's almost ready to go. Uh, some things we're waiting for is people to finish signing up. So uh, yes, you were, yes, checkmate. Uh, but I wasn't streaming five minutes ago. I was only streaming about two minutes ago. But it doesn't matter. I'm putting you down as the winner for today. But I will tell you guys that, uh, so Checkmate has signed up, but I still have participants that qualified for the candidates that have yet to actually sign up. So I'm hoping that happens sooner rather than later. There it is. Checkmate is our first chatter today. Nice job. Uh, nice job, guys. Nice job. Nice job. All right. So we got our first chatter today. That that deserves a little applause, I would think. Boom. Bang. All right. And we'll have to, of course, remind all of our stars that will be playing today that they need to mute their mic uh, when we start the competition, which will start at 8.45. As we see right here, if we go to the tournament, it says it's starting in 43 minutes. So, right on time. So, good. We have four signed up and in. Uh, we're missing Flavio, Sudakus, and Bolt. So, we're only missing three players. And that'll hopefully, uh, you know, they'll, they'll wake up and, and join the tournament. Now, I've sent them more than once. More than one. I've sent them announcements. So I, I know that I am not remiss at, in the least, in the least. Trying a little classical music tonight. I hear that it's royalty free, no worries, royalty free, because, you know, it's, um, it's classical. So there, there were no copyrights back then. Flavio's in, all right. Oh, where are you? Which classical game? <laughs> Wait, a classical game I just finished playing? It, it, was, it was a bad one, right? Yeah, it was a bad one. But you were commentating on it? Awesome. I do that sometimes. You know, I'll just look over here and say, hey, yeah, let's let's see who's playing. And based on who's playing, you know, I, I might just commentate on their game. So, like, here's one of my students, and he's playing. And it helps me actually set up everything so I can say, oh, also I can check the clock. But, yeah, I, I do that with you guys. I, I, if I see you guys online playing at the time, I'll, I'll snarf it and say, let's, let's uh, commentate on their game. So uh, this player is a very nice guy. Uh, one of my, one of my students. In in like my more real life class, I should say though, right? It's not the uh, slow class. There we go. Ugh. Oh, not I shouldn't say it's not the on stream teaching. It's when I have more time and we do week after week after week after week. So he's doing pretty good, and he's actually playing another one. And I bet he's yes, he's playing in a league tournament uh, Tuesday night arena so let's see how they're doing just oh there's only three of them there's only three of them and yep this is their current game and he's doing uh, pretty well I'd say pretty well we were watching it from his point of view though but anyway that way we get to see from black's point of view interesting game uh, looks like black lost his queen though so eh. <sighs> not the best, not the best. Hey, Flavio, bienvenidos. Glad you can make it. The one uh, you were completely losing but ended up winning. <laughs> yes, yes, I felt that one strongly. I, I experienced that one deep in my in my uh, gut. Yeah, I, I, I was looking at it too, thinking, yeah, I'm totally losing this game. What can I do? And I got lucky. I got. I did. Um, I was down two pawns. 
for the most part, right? Otherwise, I think I was doing okay. I was down two pawns. And with those two pawns being down, I just thought, you know what? I have a chance if he doesn't know the end game, right? Because, I mean, I was lost otherwise. I mean, it was there really was no contest otherwise. I was lost. I mean, but he had two pawns, uh, and I, I hoped. Yeah, yeah, that's not very nice to say it that way, Ratchet. Come on, you're going to lose uh, viewers. You talk about them like that. Yeah, he, he did not play the end game well, and which was my only hope, right? It I was my only hope. Oh, it was only one pawn? Okay. Okay, well, it was my only hope that he was not good at the end game. He was not good at the end game. Patzer? Eh, that's, that's, a, that's a harsh term for, for a bad chess player. Um, anyway. I've heard fish, I've heard wood pusher, I've heard a lot of terms, but <laughs> most of them, most of them directed at me in Washington Square Park. No, um, no, life is good. Life is good. So we have 40, 40 minutes about now that I can still use to teach because it is our first night, our first night that we do lessons. And so I've been getting feedback personally on how to teach better. And I'm always trying to get better at teaching. And so my brother and my friend, um, Sudakus gave me some feedback about my style and it is a New York style and and I, I do sometimes you know I bring out I bring out my Thor's hammer and I and I'm and I'm not very um, cordial so I, I'm gonna try to be better I'm gonna try to be better Wednesday we're gonna do a lesson with Brandon from uh, the UK so um, I owe him a lesson uh, for his birthday so we're gonna be doing a lesson for Brandon from the UK and I'm going to try to be a little bit more cognizant of my style. Okay, I'm going to try not to be as as uh, harsh, but and and repetitive over things. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try to get better. I'm going to try to be a better teacher. I mean, I'm old, but I, I, I can still learn. I think I can still learn. Um, yeah, you better rest because you got 40 minutes um <laughs> before you have to play. Um. Oh, good. That was the commentary. White was fighting for a draw. Yeah. Now um, there was well. White is winning. <laughs> oh well. I, so I was playing that uh, classic game, and I still play them way too fast, as you probably noticed if you checked the time I spent. And it's regardless of how much time my opponent spends, I should still be trying to spend uh, the correct amount of time so that I get the most out of it, right? And I think I play, I was playing way, 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 way too fast still. And I need to slow down and make believe I'm playing like uh, Sudaku's had to at the National Open where I have my, take my time and play my best chess at classical. I, I'm not doing that yet. I'm not doing that yet. Oh, that was your main critique. Well, feel free. I, I, I'm honored that you thought it'd be fun to look at one of my games. You know, I, I'm honored. Thank you. Okay, I need to, um, before we go deep into today, um, we actually have some competitors that are going to be in our tournament, and I'm looking for their rapid scores. So it looks like, um, and rapid is the bunny, right? Yeah, bunny. So 1704. 1704 for one of them. Okay, I want to put that into my chart. So that was uh, exactly 1,700. That was perfect. So he's 17. Uh, that was uh, J Giancarlo. Okay. Uh, or Chess Wizard. We'll just use Chess Wizard. All right. So 1,700 there. Um, let's see. Irv was, and he's playing in the tournament too. It's, it's nice. Uh, a lot of them are playing... A lot of my students are playing in this tournament coming up. And I'm trying to get other ones to participate because I really think they should. 1588 right now. Okay. Better go back. So he's actually 1588. And then we had um, th no one there for that one. Um, now i got to look up because I don't know the rest of their ratings. And uh, his was, come on, come on, uh, 1483, okay, this was, so we did a little analysis, what I'm, I'm trying to share with you, we did some analysis um, for each person, personally, we just said, hey, where do you feel like you belong, um, what do you, you know, where's your, what levels are you at, and what was interesting is that they're all my students, so I felt like they had a um, level playing field of education, 
right? They've been educated the same. So that gave us, I think, a better measurement stick of, of where they are and where these strengths should, you know, where the levels should be. And let's see. So I have Larry and Keith left to do. And Larry's actually playing right now, so I can see his 1412. <laughs> He's one of the guys playing right now. 1412. And then what I think will be interesting is we'll put them in order of ranking. And he is 1117. All right. And then we can see if it makes sense, right? It, that's that's the key. I want to, you know, you have theories, but you've got to test them out and evaluate them in real life because that's what it's about. We, we're trying to use this for... I'm trying to use it for real life education here. So I want to know in real life where these people fit. All right, so let's first, we could just get rid of 1800 plus for the moment. Let's just delete that column because I don't have anybody in there yet. I do have a 17, 1588, I believe that was. All right, um, I had no less than 1500 really for that purpose. So I could delete that column. Although I have people that fit. 14, 8, it's almost in order, guys. I just need to move this one here. So insert one left. I'm going to just drag that over to there. And then I'm going to delete this one. All right, so there you go. There we have our final of our evaluation. All right, so let's see. I don't know, uh, Flavio. It we'll have to wait when everybody signs up. If I saw everybody in the, if everybody was on there, I could tell you. I can show you if, if I see. Well, I am going to make an under two thousand tournament, Ratchet. Do you still qualify? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it might be, but you know, this is I don't know in in some. If you have people from all different places, you don't know, right? So as an example, Ratchet, let's say they are really, they've been studying these openings and they've been using opening traps and that's why they've been winning a lot of games. I know I don't do that with my students, that we don't start that way. So they haven't been doing the, they, they've been learning these pretty much in order, right? So I think this will help me. Oh man, see Ratchet, you just, you can't even play in that one. You can't even play in that one. So um, there was a couple of glaring areas that, you know, and some that I felt like I needed to, I felt bad that I haven't uh, uh, maybe spent enough time on. Like, I, oh, I definitely got to get these two better at rules, right? I mean, these are, these are just things that if I'm trying to determine what I need to do for my students, oh, you can't see that, sorry. Let me go full screen for a second. Um, so over here, and I need to move it over anyway. So here, they were a little weak on the rules, as an example. And so I thought, you know, I need I need to get them up to speed on the rules. And then we had this one as an area that a lot of my beginners were having trouble with. Here's another one beginners were having trouble with. And then, you know, expected, right? And then we get to where it's kind of expected. I, I, I wasn't surprised. I wasn't surprised that some of these are areas of issue, of problems. Hey, Sudakus! Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I think everyone else will be happy that you can't make it, but understand, after playing in the National Open, a National Open competitor, I can understand you needing to take a break, and, you know, this might be a little bit below you now. Being a National Open... Yeah, good job at the Open. Uh, I, uh, By the way, I contacted the... The organizers of the tournament, I did, seriously. I, I, I seriously contacted the organizers of the tournament. And I um, complained or discussed the fact that they did not have in it um, the overall rankings for the beginner section. So if you go and look at the results, in the beginner section, they only show you the top six. Full screen. They only show you the top six. Okay? So they only showed you the top six. And I'm like, no, I want to see everybody. And the guy that ran it said, 
Well, you know, we don't do that because some people only play one day, some people play two, some people play three, but I guess it's possible. I like that idea. I'm gonna, when I get back, I'll, I'll work on it. So, and they might start doing it from then on. So hopefully we will finally see where Sudakus fell overall on the three days. And yeah, if you only played one day, then sorry, you know, it's, it's, you get more, you, you have a, to be overall, you had to do all three. To win, to be here in the top three, you had to do all three. So it still counts, right? You only play one, you're going to be way down, right? You're going to be way down on the rankings. So, hoping that happens. Yeah, I know, I know. So they're going. They, 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 he said he's going to be uh, working on that. So I'm looking forward to it because I want to see where Sudakus fell, and I am pretty sure or stood. He didn't fall. He stood. He stood where Sudakus end up, and I think he's ending up above Selenia, Selenia Hokai. So we went over this. The first day, Selenia Hokai was 20, right? Selenia Hokai was 20. And Sudakus was uh, down a little bit further, just a little bit further than that. So if we go to uh, Mansur right here, uh, Joe, Joe was, or Selenia Hokai was number 20 day one, and Manuel was 110. Okay, so 20 versus 110, but that was day one only. All right, day two, Sudakus got better, got stronger, Got up to 24, guys. He finished 24. And by the way, the first day was 174. And the next day was 100 or 78. The next day was, no, it was 74. Because there was 14 more players on day two. So 188 played on Saturday. And our man Sudakus came in 24. And Selenia Hokai was 102, if I remember correctly. And I do. He was 102. All right. So... 20, 20 versus um, 110, 24 versus 102, so they're relatively close, right? I, I'd still have to give the edge definitely to Selenia Hokai, but on day three, the last day of the tournament, our man Sudakus, uh, where did you finish, my friend? Uh, we're going to have to search now, because I thought I remembered, but I don't. Uh, so, um, Selenia Hokai finished up number 37 and our man our man Sudakus Sudakus finished up number 11 11 on day 3 11 out of 158 11 guys almost top 10 one away from top 10 in fact if he had finished top 10 he would have won $10 now he also won and everyone won Fifty dollars in merch every day that they finish every. These were three mini tournaments. Every t tournament, if you finish positive score, so three point five or better, you got fifty dollars of merch. And so our man Sudakus ended up with a hundred dollars of merch. This is kind of a good. I'm glad we're doing this because it's like a recap of my last three days talking about Sudakus, giving him on stream and stuff. And by the way, guys, I did not tell him. He told me he was going over some of his games, his last game in particular, and he noticed that he made an illegal move. And he said, the other guy looked at him and probably said, uh, I ain't going to tell him because I get to win a rook for a night. <laughs> so um, if the other guy realized that he made an illegal move or not, he didn't say anything either way. We don't know if he knew. And so there you have it. Now I'm also waiting to see what his rating is going to be because he was 1,012 provisional, because he only had five games, if I remember correctly, under his belt. And now he just added 18 more. So that'll be 23 games under his belt. So it'll be interesting to see if his rating is higher, because um, Selenia Hokai will still be a provisional rating, and I think Sudakus may be also. I don't remember how many games. Anybody remember, know how many games you need in the USCF to be non-provisional? Let me know if you remember that. All right. So that's that's the excitement. I, I I it was it was good. It was good, guys. All right. I still only have five now out of seven signed up, and we just heard we just heard Sudakus will not be playing. The bad news is we're missing one of our strongest players and one of our favorite players is not going to play in the candidates due to work 
but he'll have a chance next you know next month to do it again um, if he if he stays under eighteen hundred. But he will not be playing, he says, and that leaves us with a solid six. The good news is that's the bad news. We're going to miss Sudakus immensely. The good news is with six we won't have any buys. There won't be any buys. Remember the top two, the top two go on to play uh, for the World Championship Friday night. Now, Chess Wizard, one of my young students, young students, is uh, the highest rank so far, but we're missing, um, we're missing Bolt. Is the only one we're missing, and Bolt is not higher. So Chess Wizard is number one. So I think we should do a prediction. What do you guys think? We should do a prediction, I think. And we should do it for, um, i got to remember how to write it. Grrr. Uh, I think there's a way I should be able to just see how to do it. Um, it I thought it did before. But um, I want to do a prediction. And we'll do, uh, let's do, do you guys want to do Flavio, Flavio to make it into the top two? Or Chess Wizard to be in the top two because he's the highest rated. So you would expect him to, right? So will Chess Wizard... Be in the top two. All right, and then we would have, and I got to remember how to do this. I think you got to do a pipe. Uh, this is just frustrating. I don't remember how to do prediction. So let's see if I do it. Open a setup menu to create and manage a prediction. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. So I said prediction and hit enter, and nothing happened last time, and nothing's happening this time. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, my, my menu is not opening up to tell me how to do the prediction. That's annoying. No, that isn't it. All right. Uh, I don't know why my prediction tool isn't working here, guys. I want to do a prediction. Let's see. Channel points. Uh, earn, how to earn channel points? No. I want to set up a prediction. And I've done this before, by the way, at least once or twice. Ah, oh, Ratchet's rooting for Flavio. Yeah, he, he played for the championship last time. He should be a front runner. He should be a favorite. Um, maybe we should ask Flavio again. Like I said, we could see if Flavio ends up in the top two. Uh, but anyway, we don't want to put extra pressure on any. Yeah, we do. Um, I got to remember how to do prediction, and I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. All right, let's see. We get prediction, prediction. There's prediction. And it's not showing me how to set up the menu. It's just sitting here. After it tells me, click on this to learn how to set to see how to... There it is. I don't know why that was so difficult. All right. So who... No, we will say... Our question will be... Name the prediction. Okay. Will he finish in the top two? All right. So that uh, be yes and no, right? We can go with that. All right. Since you can only do one or the other, and we'll give you guys five minutes because we have time before the tournament starts. Actually, we can even make it ten minutes for anybody that shows up. All right. Uh, don't show that again. Uh, please don't. I don't know what it is, but got it. All right. All right, there's a prediction so you guys can spend a little bit of uh, of your channel points on that. Along with sound effects, we do have sound effects. I do have to make a thing that tells you about sound effects. All right, I still don't see our man Bolt. Uh, if I remember correctly, he showed up almost late. I don't remember if he was actually late for any of our tournaments. <laughs> I truly do not remember. Um, I don't see him streaming right now, though, so uh, no excuses there. I don't know where Bolt is. Um, hopefully somebody will find him and give him a, a heads up. Uh, hey, checkmate. Uh, the, the prediction is, will Flavio be in the top two at the end of the day? So you might say no because you're going to be in the top two. But we have, we're have we looking for the top two. We will not, if Bolt shows up, we will not have any um, buys today. All right, so let's talk about what we can look for in today's 
tournament. While we're while we're looking at this awesome tournament and checking it out, what type of things can we be looking for and talking about? So I've been like I told you guys, I've been working on this. I'm up to 40. I am up to 40 different principles and or concepts to teach and to learn myself, right? To, for any chess player. Uh, you know, it, it's hard because 40 is a lot. I might remove some. I definitely might combine some soon. <laughs> That's right. You both can make it. So um, the rules is something we need to teach, obviously. And one of the things about rules, and this isn't tournament rules, although that would be a good thing to teach, as well as over the board rules, because uh, our man Sudaku's had to suffer with people who either didn't know the rules or ignored them. And I stand by my, I think I was right in my prediction, I feel vindicated that I was correct in my prediction that a lot of these players at the National Open, especially, especially, ha well, specifically, not s especially, specifically those who were unrated playing in their first tournaments had no clue about the rules of chess as far as proper etiquette because they watched the Queen's Gambit, right? Or they watched any other chess movie where people talked at each other during the games instead of not talking during the games and misbehaving in other ways like slamming clocks and just bad behavior. And, and I think they only either played online, so they have no clue about proper etiquette because online there's not much etiquette to be bothered with. And, and they watch these movies or shows and therefore have bad attitudes. I've never watched The Queen's Gambit, Ratchet. I actually, I'd actually recommend I actually liked it. It was very, very good. Um, it might become, now it, w it wasn't based on truth, any truth, it was based on a book. And so yeah, the, I guess the most, I, I, I really like Searching for Bobby Fischer as probably the best chess movie I've ever seen. Best acted and everything, but Queen's Gambit, I, I might have to put up against it. I, 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 I don't know, what do you guys think? Um, we should do a poll, right? Uh, which one was better, The Queen's Gambit or Searching for Bobby Fischer? And what's a beautiful part about Searching for Bobby Fischer is it was so long ago and it's still the best movie so far, except maybe The Queen's Gambit. And I know it's not a movie. I know it's a series. I know it was Netflix. I know it was a lot longer than the movie was, which gave you a chance to do more. So maybe it's not fair grounds. You know, one was a TV series or, or a Netflix series and the other one is a regular movie. But uh, it's a great movie. Great movie, Checkmate. Hey, Elsea, how are you, Jim? Yeah, watch them both. Oh, the chess is great. The, it's it is uh, it is uh, it's not so adult that I wouldn't let my fifteen year old watch it. But there, you know, I'd have to watch it with her. But there was there was uh, it, it was tasteful, and and I thought it was I thought it was good. I even you know a lot of people worried about the drug use in it, but it was more like um, it, it wasn't. It wasn't like smoking and, and shooting up that kind of drug use. You'd have to, I don't want to spoil it for you, but I say the drug use wasn't a, a uh, major thing that bothered me. Oh, I thought uh, Search for Bobby Fischer was excellent. Anyway, uh, even the chess, even the chess in Search for Bobby Fischer was excellent. Uh, so Bolt is online, but he's not here. All right, so what I was going to say, what should we look for? But you know what? We're just having too much fun talking about chess in general and uh, some chess movies. Uh, we should rate all the chess movies, the major chess movies that are out there. I think we should rate those. So I see that M. Bolt is online, and I'm going to hit him up and... And because he still hasn't joined the team, um, so he's gonna he's gonna fail to participate, which would be a drag. We we we're hoping he he shows up like he should and plays. So that's that's what we're hoping for. Did someone drop out? No. Okay, it's just flickery flickery. So we're still at five. We have one more to join, and we will be starting in. It'll be starting in 15 minutes, guys, 28 seconds, right there. You can see the countdown as well as I can. 
<laughs> yeah, no, Ratchet. Nice try. Nice try. No, no, not at all. Not at all. Not it, no. Uh, I did like uh, Queen of Katwe. That was another good movie, Queen of Katwe. And there's uh, it's definitely youth appropriate, as is Searching for Bobby Fischer. Actually, Searching for Bobby Fischer got a little uh, critiques because the Lawrence Fishburne character, based on a true life person, uh, had a had a drug addiction, so he was addicted. <laughs> Oh, Chess Wizard. Well, Chess Wizard, you do realize that you could be in the top two and Flavio could also be in the top two. So, just so you know. Just so you know. Um. <laughs> oh, hey, Bernardo. We're about to start our tournament in 14 minutes. We are talking about chess movies at the time. At this moment, we are talking about chess movies. Uh, let me see if anybody's. Uh, oh, Thinker Teach is playing a game. We can keep his game up on the on the board so people can see it. And I can go to my what I'll be using for the tournament so we can check on that. Yeah. Uh, okay, Ratchet. But as a chess movie, not at all. It doesn't even qualify as a chess movie in my mind. As doesn't uh, Sherlock Holmes, the one with uh, Robert Downey Jr. There's a ch Great chess game in that one between him and Moriarty, but I would not make that a chess uh, movie. Oh, look at this. So it's TK versus Thinker Teacher. Nice. I think they played a lot of games against each other, by the way. They seem to play each other a lot. And I'd say TK is a better uh, speed player than by me by far, and he is playing rapid 5 plus 5. And so I, I'd say TK's, uh, both of them, are better rapid players, but I know I'm not good at rapid, which is, so we're back, not rapid, blitz. So here we're back to the question, right? Uh, I'm, I'm playing classical because I'm studying, I'm testing, we are testing. I have three students and myself. We are testing out aim chess as a tool for getting better. That you could just follow the aim chess weekly uh, lesson plan. It gives you a weekly lesson plan. And if you did that for two months and you did the weekly plan every week for two months, how much better will it help you improve your chess? And one of the things it does is have you play two classic games, four blitz games, and ten rapid games. And so that also makes me feel vindicated that I keep telling my students rapid is the fastest you really want to play for good quality chess. Because that's where, right, that's where they're spending the time. Oh look, he could get uh, two pieces for his uh, queen. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so I feel vindicated telling them that they should be doing rapid at the fastest. I just feel like that's good. All right. Anyway, um, so it has you do that, and I needed to. I need to do still one more classical, and I've been short because it ends on Sundays. It ends Sundays at like maybe five o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm still trying to get them, you know, one or two done at ten o'clock at night, and it's too late. It's already gone over to the next week. So this week, I've actually got all my puzzles, all my games, except for one classical, and it's only Tuesday. So I'm easily going to make it, and I'm going to try to do this and be ahead. I do think you kind of need to spread it out over the whole week to get the most use of it. So TK is underrated, you say. Okay, good, good. Um, yeah, and I notice... Uh... <laughs> Not, uh, not, not if you were doing the weekly uh, training, uh, uh, personal training plan, because the weekly personal training plan uh, has no bullet. So, uh, unless you have a really strange version of it. Anyway, um, yeah, TK being uh, uh, underrated. That's a very interesting observation, right? That he, that he's underrated is an interesting observation. You know, because I'm just thinking, it's probably hard to be underrated. Yeah, okay. And you're not joking. It sounds it sounds like you were, because I, it's, I still don't know why I would be uh, signing you up for that. Uh, it looks like black is, uh, they're giving each other more time. Uh, I always love that. Um, by the way, you guys know you cannot do that in the tournament, for all of you that are here for the tournament. Uh, we're not giving more time. Um, you know the rules, right? We're playing serious chess here, guys. Just like at the National Open, I expect to see high quality, serious, rule following people. Rule following people. So, right now in this game, uh, looks like 
Wow, white is actually down a, a piece for a couple of pawns or three pawns? Four pawns. Wow, okay. It looks like four if I'm not mistaken. White has all of his pawns and black has lost four and white is missing a knight. So we will, um, so yeah, four pawns for a piece. I'd rather have the four pawns myself. Okay. Oh yeah, well, ultra, bull but even bullet because I've we're doing the weekly training plan seriously, and not one, not n there is not trying to get you to play any bullet. So I'd be shocked if it had you playing bullet. And so I don't know, it could have been earlier, and or you might not have been using the weekly personal training plan versus that just having you do it. I don't know. Uh, you'd have to tell me. You know better than I do, so I'm not sure. But anyway, so this is a very interesting game by itself, but we are down to, let's see how much time we are before our start of our tournament, because uh, it looks like uh, Bolt might not make it into the tournament. You have to be in in nine minutes to play, because if you're not in, it's a Swiss. You can't add you late, as far as I know. I can't add you late. So let's make sure that uh, Bolt isn't asking to get in. He hasn't even joined the team yet. Uh, I don't know what he's waiting for, guys. If anybody finds him out there in the in the Neither out there, uh, I don't see him. He, he is not streaming. So we might end up with a buy after all. Because they, he might not show up. I still have to put him into the team. And then after he gets into the team, he has to join the tournament. Yeah, he's not uh, streaming. He's not streaming, but he was online. I, I sent him a message online while he was actually on Lee Chess. But now he's not on Lee Chess either. So he's not on Lee Chess for the moment. So now I am confused. I don't know, guys. So, I don't know what to tell you. If he doesn't show up, he's gonna, he can't play. If he can't play, he's gonna like forfeit his chance. Uh, the computer does the buys on its own. It is a Swiss style, Swiss style. So it does not benefit you to end your game early. I recommend, I give this recommendation to everyone, so I'm not giving you any extra information, checkmate. Uh, but I recommend to everyone to uh, play out their games and not, uh, not, not quit their games early, not resign early. Because unlike in a arena tournament where you want to play absolutely as many games as you can, in this tournament, you don't. In this tournament, you, you're only going to play three rounds. You're not going to play, and if you finish early, it doesn't matter. You you um you're just gonna have to wait for everybody else to finish. So I believe right now uh, you would get the first buy is my belief checkmate, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it's it's a know how a Swiss works. It would be great if uh, Bolt shows up so we have six even, and then we don't have to worry about the buys. That would be the best. Um, that would be by far the best. And but he's not even online here now. He's dropped off of both. Lee Chess and he's not streaming so it's not it's not looking good that he's gonna make it guys it's not looking good and therefore we'll be back to having a buy a buy round for someone six minutes to go yeah the first round and then the next round I believe it's well and again it, it depends but I believe they give it to the lowest rated person gets the first buy yep yep so TK is tough, and he's playing down a whole lot of pawns. It looks like uh, three now against uh, seven, six. Three against six. So he didn't get any pawns back, and here they go, adding time. So that's good that we're not worried about that, watching this to the end. Um, maybe it's a training game for them. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I think it's good they get to play each other. It's nice to have a, uh, someone to play against for serious purposes, right? doesn't show that either one is streaming, 
So my guess is um, that they're that they're not streaming even. My Discord is okay. Um, do you think he might be on Discord? I can bring it up and see if he's messaged me on Discord. No, I don't have any private messages from him. And uh, I think I normally talk to Bolt through uh, whispers. I, I, you know, it's the problem with you have so many different uh, mechanisms to talk through. Um, but yeah, uh, I have no private. I just check. He's not on there either. He's not on there. So I don't know what to tell you. I don't know where he is. Hopefully he shows up. I mean, he's, he's, he's showing up about as late as you can show up, though, and still still make it if he shows up. So we'll have to wait and see, my friends. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Four minutes and 25 seconds. He is making this exciting. I uh, the, He is making this extremely exciting because he's still not on Lee Chess. He was on Lee Chess. Ten minutes ago, I messaged him on Lee Chess, guys. I, I'm telling you, I messaged him more times than one, but I messaged him on Lee Chess, and he's. I don't think he's going to make it. I don't think. I think we're going to have five. So one of these five, two of these five, will be playing for the world championship on Friday at 8 p.m., guys. And we are going to look at the games. Uh, with only two games being up, I might see about showing them both on the screen at the same time. But usually, I flip between them. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if that was uh, a um, cause and effect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope it wasn't a cause and effect situation there, Ratchet. J just my hope. Just my hope. And with Sudakus not being able to play, even though I thought he, I thought he would play and be like the favorite to win after coming out of the National Open, that he'd be primed and ready to go, and he would kill. He would just destroy. I thought he would be destroying. Correct. Actually, these all get recorded. I do. The, all of mine are VODs. If you go to the stream, just go to my stream, uh, go to my homepage, go to the About. Um, you'll see videos. You will see this afterwards. Yep, on Twitch. And I post some of them on YouTube, but you'll see it on Twitch. So yes, yes. And a reminder, checkmate, and reminder to all of you, you should, um, if you have me on in the background, you can feel free to have me in the background after your game is over. You can join and watch me annotate the other game if there's another game still going on. Um, and if you're not, if you do get the buy, then you could stay. But once you play, you should um, go ahead and mute me. You should turn off your sound and not be watching. A buy isn't a buy round, but it's a buy. You get a, and actually, I think this gives you a full point on Ratchet. I think it gives you a full point buy. Uh, so you get points for not playing. You didn't get to play, so you get, you know, you sit out a game and you get a point. You get a full point. Uh, it's a, it, it is, yeah, it doesn't count as much if there's a tie break, right? So in the tie break, you, that, that buy doesn't count like you won a game head to head, but you do get the buy. You, you get a point. Um, it depends if, uh, you guys will get either two or three games. It's three rounds, three games, but if you have the buy, you'll end up actually only playing two games. Yeah, uh, we'll see Ratchet real fast. Right? We'll find out real fast if it's a point or if it's a half a point. We'll find out like that. And each person will get a buy. Uh, well, no, three people will get a buy. And I don't, I, again, I, I'm going to let it determine who gets the buy. I do have a rule book. If I was running the tournament in real life, I would have to know who gets the buy based on the rule book. But since I'm not running the tournament, I don't have to worry about it. All right, yeah, it'll go pretty fast because it's only three rounds, 10 plus three each, and that's why we um, start at 8.45 and not at 8.30 like I did the first time and realized, you know what, these are going to go fast anyway. Now, if we had a better turnout for each one of the qualifiers and we had maybe four people qualify each week, we'd have up to 12 players and we'd probably be doing a five-round Swiss. So we need to we need to get more under 1,800 players in here. If you guys, all you guys that stream, 
you have people that are um, on your stream wanting to play. You always wanted to play, wanted to play. Send them over for the qualifiers. Tell them, hey, go play. It's a, I won't even tell them it's under 1,800. Make sure they're under 1,800. But if they're not, they can't play. But send them over, and they and they could just play as – just tell them it's a beginner's tournament. And so, like, Flavio has started – I guess I should tell you guys, but we have two seconds. Never mind. Let's go. Let's go. We're in, guys. It started. The life had started. We're, we're serious now. Let me close that one. We're, we're in. So LLMP and Chess Wizard, I hope you guys are online ready to go because, um, you know, you're supposed to be playing. Let's go. Let's go. Chess Wizard, uh, LLMP, you do. There we go. Okay, we got game. We got game. Uh, we got a first move here on this one. They've played each other many times. I'm going to bring up a second window um, with, with the same tournament going on so we can watch. We can just flip between the two games. Should have had this already ready, but I'm sorry. I apologize. There we go. Flavio's game. All right. So we got Flavio playing Sly Chess, and as we predicted, Checkmate got the got the um, buy. Now they are playing extremely fast. The game could take a lot more time. We could have this tournament go on for a while, but they're both they're all playing fast so far. Chess. Uh, so Sly Chess and Flavio. Now I have faith that these two will play a slower game. They're going to take their time more uh, because I, I, I just know their style. Uh, they use their time wisely. So we'll see a slower game here with more thought put in. Uh, maybe, maybe not more thought, but at least more time used. And uh, Flavio and Sly Chess might be playing very fast. I think you actually get a win. I think you technically get a full point. We'll see. Hey, thanks, Ratchet. I didn't notice that, by the way. I, I meant to. Uh, I did thank you on your stream. I was on your stream. I noticed it. I like going to people's about pages, uh, especially people that I support or that I like watching myself. I go to their about page to see what they have. Oh, okay, I thought it was a full point. See, I was right, Ratchet. Hey, I get a point. That's like two times today. I was right. <laughs> uh. Oh, that might be two checkmate, but no, this isn't an arena, so I don't know if that's true. We'll find out. We'll find out. That could be. That could be. But I'm pretty sure it's one point. This is not an arena tournament. You don't get four points on a streak. There's no streaks. None of that. This is a Swiss series tournament, so I'm pretty sure you get only one point if you win. Yeah, that's what it is, and it's a buy. It's not a win, but yeah, you get the buy. This will be interesting, guys. This is very, look, this is one, you know, you got to sit there and calculate. Can I do this? Can I do this? Can I do this? And he do this. I do this. He does that with check. I take and then he takes back. So I lose a piece. So I can't do that. You know, you have all these complications that you got to figure out over the board. You got to figure it out. I don't want to leave it. I kind of want to see what it, where it goes to. Sly's taking his time. Sly Chess is taking his time as he should. As he should. He should take his time and make sure what he wants to do. I see nice stuff for him. I mean, you know. Oh, he went that route. He's going to have to take back this way unless he makes a. Uh, unless he'll be in trouble. And this. Uh, Flavio's pawn structure is looking pretty bad. So we'll see how it goes, though. We'll see how it goes. All right. Back to this game. Uh, nice, solid game. Quiet game. Uh, maneuver Look at this. Look at this. Uh, I am level maneuvering of the pieces, right? Re repositioning knights. This is like high speed here, guys. They're playing high speed chess. High speed chess. Some uh, straight out tactics. Discovery, straight out tactics. Alignment, guys. Alignment, alignment, alignment. I need to find ways to teach people alignment because it's critical as far as I can tell. It's one of those major ones on my list. Alignment comes in. We, we got to get people to be able to understand and utilize alignment. So here we go. Uh, game is not cleaned up a ton but it does look like it's uh, changed the board has changed the board has changed and uh, Sly's not somehow has not developed any more pieces than he had last time we saw 
So I just need to go back. He takes, oh, he takes the free piece. He just backs up. Okay, so he got a pawn out of it. Okay, and that's why he didn't develop anything yet. Okay, that totally makes sense to me. Now we have to see where he's going to go. Because this is two versus one. Ah, that's one way to do it. That is a, that's probably the simplest way. And it's funny, I wasn't even thinking about the simple uh, simplification, right? Why not? Why not? I, and I was thinking all these, oh, well, you got to protect it, you know, and you don't have to protect it. You could just simplify. You're up material. Why wouldn't you just simplify? Right? Now you could do this with tempo, we call it, because with this tempo grabber, uh, the next move you get to do that. So this is a tempo grabber. Uh, it's to look for. You look for opportunities to grab tempi, 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 tempo, right? I can grab a tempo with an attack. He's got a move. I can get this move in, and I'm ahead in, in what I'm trying to get done, hopefully. Got to always look, though, but it is protected. So life is good. Life is good. This is an interesting game and LLMP game. We saw, we've seen a lot of, look at this. The knight went from here to here, back to here. While we have a pawn storm here, and, and now we're breaking in the center, guys. This is this is a lively game. A lively game. Why? Because he can't use the knight because it's pinned. So, takes, takes, and you would think, oh, you're losing a pawn, but you're not. You're not because he's pinned. So... And, and you notice the LMP makes those, those second moves pretty quickly. I don't know if he uh, pre-moved. I don't know if he pre-moved, but I'm liking him using time. I'm liking him using his time well. So knight to D, I agree. I agree. Knight to D achieved nothing at that point. I agree. I agree. But I was, I was, I was actually kind of joking about it being an IM move because we see IMs doing that kind of stuff all the time where they move and then they move, you know, they reposition their knight to a new square. Um, don't know that he well, had good ideas of where he was going with that piece at the moment. Um, but yeah, that I see that type. And so here, as an example, this is a great square for white. Now he's got to first deal with this. But after he deals with that, oh my gosh, what a nice, beautiful square. Um, by the way, this might be a nice square to start with. Easily chased away though. So you got to consider that. Uh, but, you know, this is a possibility also. Here's a possibility. And yes, this is freed for a moment because then if he moves, then you still get a discovery. So that's a possibility too. I mean, he's got a lot of possibilities and you notice here's where he's taking his time. Yes, tasty outpost. Yes, outposts are great. In fact, the game Ratchet that I played so poorly, like you, that, uh, that you analyzed, uh, the one thing I knew was I needed to blockade that pawn. <laughs> and so I tried to blockade it. And I, I, I thought I had a nice tactic to win some material, but I was wrong. Uh, as you know, I was wrong, but I ended up okay overall. And then I got lucky at the end. Yeah. But anyway, but it was just a point that you know what you do with outposts and blockades. Those are positional considerations that you should learn and know and, and you have to be able to use them properly. And so I, I, I'm quite proud that uh, at least I remember that little bit. That uh, which, which tactic was what Stockfish said? I, I don't know which tactic you mean. Oh, the uh, one where I took with, oh, I looked afterwards and it said I should have played the rook to the seventh file and then if they traded off knights, I would have been, I would have had a fork on another pawn. I would have gotten back one of my two. I would, I think I would have been equal on pawns. I think I would have been equal on pawns. Okay, so Flavio Sly Chess, we have a, uh, wow. Wow, that was played quickly too. Wait, and there you go, because it was played too quick. Look how quickly that was played, guys. That was just what I call blunder, right? So here you're attacking and you're attacking, and your opponent attacks your queen, and instead of you taking, instead of you taking, you uncover your queen, guys. It's still, it's still, un and we just drop a piece. We just dropped a piece. Wow. Wow. Can take this one, yep, and then take this one. 
and you're you're not equal, but you you haven't lost this game. This game is still playable, guys. This game is still playable. There's a lot of life, a lot of life left in this game. Although he dropped his queen. Wow, look at all that get, and this king is out in the open, but um, you're down to very few pieces to attack that that queen. That king, I mean, the king. So, what do you do? How do you play this, right? How do you play uh, secure? you got to figure it out, and so they both. Yeah, I, I don't know, right? Well, yeah, because if the two, well, yeah, because you have a rook for a knight. I, I, white is definitely winning. White's up uh, two points at minimum. He's up two points. I know two rooks are supposed to be better than a queen, so maybe it's only 1.5 points, but I think it's uh, two points. All right, let's see how this game has uh, progressed. So we went here, and we grabbed that beautiful, juicy square, and I don't know, black is, black is cramped, black can't move. Um, the knight is no longer pinned, though, so maybe he'll get a juicy square, which white can keep him out of, though. And he's keeping him out of this square already. So white could say, yeah, go ahead, try to take that square. That would be nice. Um, there's no pawns that are going to hit that square. Queen still hasn't even gotten off the back rank. And other than that, yeah, the game looking pretty decent, guys. Pretty decent. This knight is doing nothing here, so I see, I see it, to my mind, an easy uh, re reorganization. But no, he didn't do it. He went for this. I mean, he gave him that. So we'll see what happens. Let's jump back and check out the Flavio game. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, a trade? No. No, he just lost a rook. Oh, my gosh. I mean, yeah, you know, that's you got to be careful. There you go. Look, another discovered attack. Alignment and with check and then with check again. That is beautiful. That was beautiful technique. And then he runs back this way. No problem. That way he holds on to the pawn. Could have went back. And now, now, I would agree with you, Ratchet. Now, I would say, um, white, black might be in the lead. Black might be in the lead now. Wow. And at least you would think it would easily be a draw, but white, black should be in the lead with the two rooks and a knight. He's got two rooks and a knight. Now, he's got to find his way to win it, though. It's not, a, I mean, the queen is a tricky piece too. The queen is like knight sometime in its trickiness that it can do a lot of attacking. Um, but there's no back ranked mates to be worried about. And the two rooks are, po uh, are strong. I mean, he could just, if he doesn't know what to do, he could just push this pawn as far as he can and then, and then worry about what to do next, right? Um, but he can look for ways to get his knight into the game. He just doesn't, he, as long as he doesn't blunder, I can't believe he won back the rook. He won the rook for nothing, for totally for free. Yeah, I don't know, it's, it's, it's going to be tough. Even, and you think about it, if he could trade the queen for the two rooks even, then if, this, if, if he can trade off these pawns first, then it's a knight against three pawns, three pawns, you have a chance. If he could trade off everything, it's going to be a draw. But I don't know if he can trade off everything. And and here we go. Oh, here we go. We're getting attacking chess, guys. Getting attacking chess. Reposition? No, doesn't really do you any good. I kind of like him here. I kind of like him here. I mean, that has potential. All right. He, he's got to be leery now. He's just got to watch out. There you go. So now it's attacking... There and here. So now what? Do you just, do you just go back? This might go end up a draw, guys. It's going to be hard for Sly Chess to win if he's not good at endgames. Oh, my goodness. We got breakthroughs here, guys. Okay, let's go back. We finally found a way to break in. The queen got aggressive. Got one, uh, what? What? What am I missing, guys? What am I missing? What was that? Maybe just a blunder. Oh my gosh, guys. Another lost queen in another game. What what happened here? So here the knight came over. Okay. The queen came in. We get attack on the queen. 
and the queen could just go back, right? The queen could just go back and hold hold off the knight. Remember I told you that knight here would have stopped the knight? I'm telling you, knight there. But for some reason, I think he missed the fact that the rook was here. He, I just think he missed the fact that rook was there, guys. But he gets uh, a rook and a pawn, not enough. He gives up this pawn. Okay, this is this is probably forced. I don't think you want to do anything else. I don't think you want to do anything else. Wow, let's see the Flavio game. Uh, lost his knight, got the pawn though. That might be worth it in itself, guys. Getting the pawn for the knight may have been worth it. Let's see. It might make life a little simpler. Ah, oh, he just dropped the knight. He just dropped the knight, guys. Totally dropped the knight, and then, and then uh, Flavio gave him the pawn. Didn't have to give him the pawn. So he, he was. <laughs> what a up and down game this is. So let's see what happens here. He's, he's pushing the pawn. What an up and down game this has been. My gosh, this is a crazy game. Crazy game as up and down as this has been. I mean, he had he had the advantage, lost the advantage. He had the advantage, lost the advantage. Gave back the knight, but it doesn't matter. I like I said, getting the pawn was critical, but he didn't have to get the pawn. He didn't have to get the pawn right here. Um, he got the free knight. He attacked the queen. The queen could have uh, protected the pawn, and even maybe even now, even now, he could have protected the pawn. He also could have went here and forked the two. Right? Could have forked the two. And then he would have had to either drop back or bring his rook over. I, I, I think he, he missed he missed it. This is just bad. This is, Or just don't take back yet. Right? But then the rook gets to take. Uh-oh. What happened in this one? So, uh, we get a check. White resigned. We always tell you not to resign. White resigned. You can't get a stalemate if you resign, guys. You can't get a stalemate. You can't get a stalemate if you resign. Look, there is no squares for that king right now. Now, he's going to take, and that's going to mess up your chances, but... Yeah, resigned. So, Flavio goes down in the first game. Sly Chess is a surprise winner. And uh, Chess Wizard, who's our highest rated player, is winning this game. But we're down to two, 2 minutes 56 each. Yeah, no, you won't get a game yet, Chess Checkmate. Both games have to finish. The whole round has to finish before you play. So you won't. Yes, I agree. I agree. I, I totally agree that was an upset uh, ranking-wise, definitely. And Flavio played for the championship last month. He was our uh, candidate last month for the champion. And it looks like, um, looks like, oh, he grabs a knight to try to, to, to get the queen. So he tries to grab a free knight. It looks like he might get it. He might get the free knight. Don't really see much way for him to, I mean, if he takes, he loses the queen. So nothing else to be done about that. He could attack the rook, but the rook just can move, right? Rook could just move. And he's still going to be able to move this knight sooner or later. Ah, oh, there you go. We get a change. He doesn't doesn't get it. Doesn't get the piece. So he just won another piece out of it. Now he's got to see what else he can do. What else can he do? He, he needs to keep uh, the pressure on, and he's low on time. Who unpaused? Oh, yeah. Your heart hurts, and is, is, it, is it beating too fast? Yeah, yeah, it's hard. This is I said it last time, it's like the mayhem. When you only have three rounds, you, you kind of can't afford to lose. But you can if you win the next two. Uh, if he wins the next two, then he still has a good chance to make you know, come in second place. First and second play for the championship. You do not need to come in first. You need to be in the top two. Be in the top two to play for the championship. I 
called it, ladies and gentlemen. I called it. And you can't block it, right? You can't put anything in between. Called it again. You can't put anything in between. If he goes down, which is his only legal move, you just go back. Because a draw at this point is good for White, especially with the time crunch. He doesn't play well in time, and he was losing this game. He dropped his queen. So that would be a great comeback. <laughs> Now, does he get greedy? Does he get greedy or does he just say, I'll take the draw? I say you take the draw personally because he's, he's in trouble otherwise. I mean, these pieces are gonna maybe get activated, but also his clock. I agree, totally agree. And his clock, he's gotta, he, he lost the game in the qualifier, which luckily for him it didn't matter because it was already, the qualifier was already over. Um, I mean, he already had qualified. But he lost the game in the qualifier to Sudakus because he didn't even know his clock was running. What was, oh my God. Guys, he had a draw. He had a forced draw. He had a forced draw and he's not, he didn't take it. Why wouldn't you take it? I think that's a mistake. I think he should have taken the draw, guys. I think he should have taken the draw. Yeah, now now what? Why didn't you take the draw? Why wouldn't you take the draw? I don't understand. I, I'm confused. I'm befuddled. I'm befuddled on why he did not just happily accept the draw. Maybe he thought he had something better. Yeah, he had a free pawn? Where? Oh, he could take... Oh! No, Bishop just takes. Yeah, I don't understand what he thought he had. I mean, he could go there. He's got to go there now. He has no choice. He has no choice and his clock is running. I oh, should have just taken the draw. Now watch, he's going to find a win and we're going to be like, You're a genius! That's, a, that's not a win. He just takes with the queen. Yeah, he doesn't win here. Uh, yeah, he's in trouble. He should have taken the draw. Wow. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. The draw would have been... He would have been fine with the draw. I'll ask him later. Right? We'll ask him all later. We, we got to find out why we do things we do sometimes. Now he's going to take the knight, simplify, and he's going to he's going to be able to win this in, in the amount of time that's left. But he had a forced draw, guys. One more time with the knight, it was an easy draw. Why would you not take it? Why would you not take it? Why would you? I I I'm confused. And I know he knows. About three, um, about three move check uh, draws. So, why would he not take the draw? And the worst part is I know he's going to kick himself. He is going to kick himself five different ways for this. He will get very frustrated at himself, which is probably the worst part. But yeah, it's a good lesson, right? If nothing else, if nothing else, he's going to learn a great lesson that he should have just snatched, taken the draw. Basically, it wasn't offered, but it was a draw. Now, and I, I know pretty soon he's just going to march a pawn down.
Maybe not. Maybe he's going to uh, just solidify. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, he, had, he had a forced draw, the nicely earned forced draw after being, after giving away his queen. After giving away his queen for a piece and a pawn. I thought, oh, what a great resource. You found a draw and then he didn't, he had one more time to do it. One more time and he didn't do it. I, wa I wonder if he, uh, if there was a draw offer made, but I don't see it. I think it would show you. I think it would show you. So yeah, it's it's a little frustrating. I uh, I think he had it, and he for some reason didn't didn't capitalize like he should have. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it would show. So I don't know why he uh, didn't didn't take it. I do not understand. I know he's low on time, but that was the easiest thing to do. So. All right, guys, back to the tournament. There will be 51 minutes. So they only give you one minute between rounds. And uh, so, yeah, two, two of the top two to our top three uh, lost the first round. So Matt Bruce is trying to tell uh, on the chat, uh, tell, telling Chess Wizard, that he had an easier, much simpler king and rook mate, which there might be for sure. But uh, you know, you shouldn't be talking before you play. Uh, chances are, let's see. Uh, Sly Chess is in first. I don't know how he's in first because um, it should still be rating. It should still be based on rating. So the next pairing, um, it looks like uh, LLMP will probably get the buy because of the pairings. So we'll see. And we begin. So it's Sly Chess. Or, okay, LLMP does not get the buy. Um, and Matt Bruce will now play Chess Wizard, who he was just telling him how to, <laughs> that there was an easier king and queen checkmate. So we'll see how well he does against Chess Wizard. He'll get his chance to show him how to do a better king and che uh, checkmate. And Flavio gets to buy, but I didn't think he was actually the lowest seed because I thought by rating he wasn't, but that's okay. Let's see what happens. Um, yeah, LLMP, I don't understand why he didn't take the draw. There should have been, it should have been like um, two with a point, one by one win, and two half points. And they would have, uh, I don't understand. Uh, he's going to actually explain that one to me later. But as we know, it's hard for me to watch family play chess. My daughter, my brother, my anyone that's family. Friends, too. I get, I get all flustered when I'm watching, like, Sudaku's play. Going over his games at the National Open it was like, ah, I was so flustered. And I wasn't even there live watching him. Okay, let's see what happened here. Okay, we're just, we're just playing a nice French defense. Nice standard French defense, advanced variation. Well, thank you, Ratchet. She thinks so. <laughs> no, she plays well. I, I'm, I'm proud of her. I, I'm proud of her. Boom, 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 boom. Decent in between move because you got to take first. And the pawns don't really matter too much, but they could. So it's a minor pawn uh, deficiency. We'll see. But what I don't like is that this is blocking this, which means we can't castle. That's where I think the problem lies right now with this game for our intrepid. Uh, so now he's going to have to switch up, right? Because, and if he throws a check in, it won't really matter. Now we get the bishop now, maybe here, but you got a castle. So if he goes here, he might slow down castling because of the check. So, do that first, castle, then get over here. So we'll see. That's not a that's not an actual threat at all right now. I don't understand it. He should just, yep. All right, let's bounce back. Let's check out the slide chess game with uh, LLMP. Slide chess is the only one, well, no, we had three solid points because it should have been a draw. I keep thinking it was still a draw. Uh, I don't understand how he's playing the French right here, though. That, that's very abnormal. 
It's very abnormal. This was normal. I can understand not wanting to do this when everything is looking like it wants to Greek gift you. Right? So I can understand that, but I don't understand this. But anyway. And here we go again. Oh! How did I not have clock on? You guys have missed the clock the whole time and you, nobody says anything. My goodness! There you go. There you go. I've played a lot longer, yes. I've played, I've played, uh, yeah, I've played more, many more years than she was born, of course, because as long as I was playing before she was born, and I was playing three times before she was born, so, yeah. Again, I don't, I don't, I, I gotta talk to this, I gotta talk to this boy about his play. I don't know what he's done. Oh, maybe this. Maybe that, but I don't like this. Person. And, oh, luck, well, yeah. Doesn't matter, he's still gonna get it in. Hmm. Agreed. Agreed. And I think uh, we missed an opportunity for a Greek gift, maybe. So. Alright, let's see what's going on back here. Whoa. Okay, chess wizard. Decided to take and triple pawns, guys. The rare and very rare, un not seen very often, triple pawn complex. Yes, we have a triple pawn complex today. Don't know what the heck we're doing with a triple pawn complex, but we have one. We do have it. it, it there is a sighting of the triple, of the famous, of the infamous triple pawn complex. Complex. Yes, yes, we do see it. Oh, I heard a move. Yep, so the bishop did come out, and we did get the block as I predicted. We could get this one. Could get that one. The knight holds. Everything is there. Look at that. Look at that. What a weird situation. You can go there to double up on that, and you got everything is, is held no matter what. And if he comes in here, you win a pawn. And he didn't do it. Okay. So again, he could have went here. Now granted, there could be a pawn push, but... Or he could do the... off. Oh, oh, even better, guys. Even better. How about just that? Disconnect the defender. You do that first. And then the only way to... You can't even say... I mean, you could go here, but you have no attack. You have no attack, so you'd still just lose that. Guys, oh, it's just, ah, oh, that hurts. That hurts. Still do that. Still do that, but he missed it last time, which means he's not going to see it this time, is my prediction. Because if he didn't see it last time, he's not going to see it this time. Oh, I, I lied. I didn't lie, but I'm surprised. I, he's probably going, man, I should have done that the move before. And the answer would be, yes, you should have. And by the way, again, here he has. there's no attack. Even if he takes here first and he takes back, that's not an attack. So this and this, he's going to drop a piece. Black should win a piece. Well, we get a trade of queens over here. And then we'll see how bad triple pawns really are versus an isolated pawn. I don't think there's much question one of these is going to take back. So the only question is which one. Okay, so he takes. And again, he could just take. There's, there's no threat. He can also take this way. This piece still has no squares and this piece is still under attack. So he could take either way. Either way, it was fine. This does. This has nothing afterwards. So now I'm anticipating this, this, and then this. But then he has the knight and the knight and the pawn, so he has enough ways to protect against it. You could throw in that check first, drop back, and then the queen doesn't have an in though. So yeah, this is interesting. I knew it was coming. You might as well, right? Get something for it.
And he's going to make sure that he won't get mated, but I don't see any mate. I don't see any actual mates here. You take. He could throw that check in. You could draw it back. The queen can come up to try to get here. Oops. To try to get here. To try to get here. But it's pretty slow. Pretty slow. You'll get the knight. The knight. Uh, you should be able to stop it. You should be able to push the pawn if you need to. You should be able to. I, I can't see it. I can't see it happening. Yeah, I agree. I think it's too slow. Quadruple pawns, huh? I think it's too slow. I'm scared to watch it, though, because I get too excited, too frustrated. Okay, so this game has gotten very uh, messed up a bit, I would say messed up there. Oh, nope. Goes for the pawn. Better choice, maybe. Maybe. Has no back rank mate. He's got weak pawns, though. But he's got a nice bishop that should be able to help out. We know double pawns was weak, and he had tripled a second ago, so... He could have went here, but then the problem is the rook would have protected, but it would have been pinned. It would have been pinned, and maybe then the knight would have had free reign to come in. I think the knight would have had free reign. Now the bishop... Oh, okay. He does have a square. So it'll be interesting, guys. Can't forget that the long range. This is not over. And let's see how about this one. Okay, gets the check, the check. The knight comes in to save itself. And now you need to find a way. Oh, two pieces there, but that's two pieces for a rook and a pawn. We know that's not a good trade. So the question is, where does the knight, maybe here and here? Maybe here and here? And if we go here, if he takes, then you're happy. You're okay with that. Yeah, black is looking fine if he uh, solidifies. Just has to finish it up. Come on. You can do it. Yes, Noah, there is. There is. Um, so we have an under 1800 tournament, which you are very welcome to play in, Noah. And you have to be under no uh, under 1800 rapid Lee Chess. And I think you are. You can check. I don't, I don't remember your rating for sure. But it's an under 1800 tournament. Um, Chess Wizards playing in it, you know Giancarlo. And so, yeah, uh, we do the qualifier every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock. Every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock. But first of all, I don't know if you're a member of, the, of our team for streaming. So first join this team, and then you will get notices when we're having the tournament. All right, so put yourself in there for that tournament. Sign up uh, for the team first, and then we'll go from there. We'll get you signed up, get you going, and get you working. All right. Not sure I understand that move, but hey, I'm happy to watch and learn. Oh, well, he can't take, right? Can't take. So maybe that's why. Yeah, join that. Anyone can. Uh, let people know, please. Pass it around. Under 1,800, you can play in the tournament. Yeah, you don't? I don't blame you, but I don't know. I don't know what he wanted to do otherwise. I'm not sure. I mean, he could protect from the side. That's a black pawn. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. So I think he's okay. I think he's okay. If he wants to protect the pawn, which I think he should. He could try check. And then, depending on where you went, you might have gotten a check and, and traded that, but, you know, probably not the best idea. Yes, again, I think he should have had a draw last game. And I think, uh, and, and LMP didn't, for some reason, refrain from giving him the draw. Um, here, I think he should have just taken. Again, he moved here. He had a free pawn. Takes, takes. And once you get that pawn and that knight out of there, the king is gonna should easily be able to run away, and you have more material. So don't understand. And still, but now you don't get the extra pawn. Now you don't win the pawn, though. Now you don't win the pawn, though. And you could still go to win the pawn. You should still be able to win the pawn. But he's got to be leery of this kind of stuff. Right? 
He's got to be. He's got to watch out for this. And this works, but this doesn't because that still is covered. I don't know what he's doing. He's going to be in possible trouble. All right, let's go back. Yep, yep. All predictable moves. And now he probably realizes he's in trouble. It's not over, but he's in trouble. But it's over. It's over. Yep. Yep. It's over. There is no um, fixing it. Missed his chance. Oh my goodness. Oh. And he was ahead that game. He was ahead. He was ahead. He was ahead. But it was hard to hold. He had to play correctly. A lot of chances to go wrong. It's not over, Mystic? How's it not over, Mystic? What can he do? What can he do? What can he do? Hey, Mystic. How you doing? Haven't seen you in a while. Good sound effect. No. Still checkmate. Still checkmate. No, it doesn't matter. Wherever this can go anywhere you want, it's still checkmate. Yeah, no, Mystic, you're wrong. It's over. Now, why uh, why check, uh, checkmate is taking so long to move that one? I have no idea. That was a very long time to decide on that move. Can't throw that in. Can use that one for a moment. And then maybe from here to here. Then attack here. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, he did, he did try it. Oh, oh, I know he's not going to be happy. He was ahead in that game. A little bit. Yeah, Sly, uh, well, yeah, he has two wins. He should he should make it into the top two. Yep. Yep, Chess Wizard has had had a chance to be in the top two, but he's losing, he's not, he's not winning this game. Um, so it's still up for who's going to be in there with Sly, but Sly looks like he should be a guaranteed, um, he should make it into the next round. Yeah, Matt's rating is uh, low. Yeah, he probably didn't play a lot, but it's okay. That's the fun, right? He could be the world champion for a while, but then what happens? All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to get this attack? Yes, we are. And they, there's always the chance for blunders. It's the beauty of chess, right? Always a chance for a blunder here and there. And this was also a possibility with threats of here. Not that it would necessarily mean anything, but you never know where it might end up afterwards. If this is what I would see, I'd probably go here. Because then I'd be setting them up.
Yeah, do you think he sandbagged to get that rating? <laughs> uh, what do you mean? What do you want to see in the live stream club? Are you in the live stream club? Did you join the team? Let's go back to the tournament. And let me check. Uh, uh, here we go. For live stream. Be Aquino, you're in. Bernardo, you are in, my friend. Okay, he gave away the pawn. He gave away the pawn. Wow, okay. I don't see a checkmate, but he gave away the pawn for it. And now he gets to attack the bishop. He can push, take, take. Oh, no, that is mate. What am I thinking? That's mate, guys. That's mate. That's mate on chess wizard. Yeah, Matt's not playing like a 1300, I'd agree. You might have to check this guy out. Who is this Matt Bruce? <laughs> Checkmate 442. Hey, you know how it is, though. If people sandbagging, it'll be found out eventually. Alright, back to the tournament. Matt Bruce. What do we know about Matt Bruce? Now, he's been a member since December 15th um, of this past year, so... And he's been playing a lot of different leagues, different teams, so we're going to have to trust that he's what he is. And he's just uh, a little stronger than, uh, you know, he's playing stronger. So he had to buy the first round. He had a legit win just then. Nice win. And uh, now it's going to be Sly Chess against Matt for sure. Uh, LLMP will get a one-point buy. And Flavio will play Chess Wizard. And uh, so one of them will end up possibly with two points. And if one of these two lose, one of them might get bounced out. So, and especially with the buy. Remember, Matt has a buy. So we'll have to see how it ends up. Last round coming. All right, here we go, guys. One game here. So we have Flavio against Chess Wizard, and as I called it, LLMP gets a buy. Ah, oh, anytime, Bernardo. So uh, I understand what you're asking for, Noah. So what's in the chat that you don't see it in the live stream club? The tournament's in the live stream club. You, you can view it on Lee Chess, or you could just view it on my stream. Um, but other than that, I don't know what you're asking for. Did you sign up for the live stream team? I gave you the link. And here's the link again, right there. So there's the link again. So feel free to grab that link. Click the link. All right, so this is the top two. Now, we can watch this game, too, because this will matter. It, it, it's possible whoever wins this one might make it in. We're looking for who's going to come in number two. The winner of this game comes in number one. So... We have to wait and see. So I've been looking for someone to know that as a response to that or that, you do this. I haven't seen anybody seen it yet. I've seen them put it back. Oh, finally, someone knows what they're doing. Chess Wizard, I'm so happy. This is going to be a tough match, guys. And then we have the uh, Sly Chess, who played really well. Now, he's playing 1500. And look, Matt Bruce is up to 1427 already. So he's not playing like a 1300. He's playing like a 14. Interessante. Muy interessante. I think Sudakus would have been definitely favored in this tournament. I wish he had played. Which worked in getting in his way of having fun. Work is so lousy like that. So tomorrow we have a one-on-one -on -one lesson with Brandon. But also, tomorrow I get to play tennis. Alright. Development, development, development. Are we going to see any king safety in this game or not? I don't know. Mm. We usually see problems with uh, uh, the lower rated people dropping material. Um, and it looks like it might... Oh, oh, oh. Got to be careful. 
But this pawn is weak. What will we do to protect that pawn? <laughs> yeah, so uh, you know, uh, but you do know, LLNP, that you had a forced draw against Chess Wizard, and for whatever inexplicable reason that we don't know, you, you decided with less than two minutes on your clock to not take the draw that you needed to move one more move, and instead you decided to maybe play for something else when you were down material, and it was going to be, it was probably going to take you more than a minute, even if it was a win in there, to find it. I, I don't think that was good time management. We all thought you should have taken that draw. Um, and that might have put you in a different frame of mind. It might have even given you a different matchup for your next game. Yeah, yeah, you should have, yeah. So we were, we were kind of surprised you didn't. We were like, oh, look, he can force a draw. Boom, yeah, look, he's forcing a draw. Good job, should take the draw. And then you went for a win. But why? You're trying to come in the top two. Yeah, I know. I know. Easy for us to say. We didn't play it. We were watching. All right, we got a trade. Whoa, we got a lot of stuff happen real fast. We're going to have to go back to the beginning on this one. No castling, no castling, no castling. Nobody, no, why castle? And now why castle when you're, right? What's the benefit of castling anymore when you're already traded off? Yeah, once the queens are gone, we're going into an endgame already. The king should be in the center of the board, and it is. So the king is in the center of the board. Happy to be? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Chess Wizard is showing his um, tactical acumen. Here or here, he's got a pick, but very nice job. Now, he could have taken first protecting the knight, which would probably have been better than this, right? See, now he's, he's like going backwards a little bit. But he is ahead of whole piece. Ooh. Oh, what was that? Oh, we got tilting going on here. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, wow. Wow. Surprise, surprise, surprise. And for the prediction, I don't know if you guys realize that, that actually plays into the prediction immensely. I gotta. I, I. I already know what the result of the prediction was. This. This is wild, guys. So the outcome is: Will Flavio finish in the top two? I believe that's a no. All right. I just want to double check before I, I. I. I finish that and then find out I'm wrong. No, Flavio cannot be in the top two, no matter what the outcome of this next game is. Wow, guys. Wow, that was totally not expected either. So both uh, um, LLMP and Flavio have been knocked out of the top two, and I thought for sure it would be uh, closer. I, I thought they would both, I, I was hoping for both of them to make it, actually. So, uh, Will Flavio, so Chess Wizard wins a lot of uh, channel points. Lots of channel points. All right, now. Who will win this match? That's that's a question to be seen. Sly Chess is also playing pretty well. Both of them are playing very well. Um, so I don't know if I, I kind of agree with you that he wasn't. Uh, maybe Matt isn't playing like a thirteen hundred. But look at this. Now does he take with the bishop or he takes with the pawn? Okay. Bishop would have been nicer on that long diagonal, probably. Uh, but it does shore up the it does shore up his past pawn, so yeah. I'll take well, we'll go with it. Never give up, never surrender. But but a draw isn't giving up or surrendering. <laughs> a draw would have been fine. A draw would have been a nice Finished. Yes, Ratchet, you lost points. Yes, and um, and our young man won points. So, wow. 
So Noah, uh, I'm still not I'm just not sure what you're looking for, Noah, but I can maybe take the moment to go find out what you were talking about. So if we go to, uh, that's the wrong team. Oh, that's why. I get you, Noah. So yeah, the, the problem was you were, yeah, this tournament is not under the four live stream. The qualifier is under this one. So the qualifier you want to be in the four live stream team. But this tournament is actually under the team called qualif uh, Candidates because these people already qualified. Sorry, I did not understand what you were asking. Technicalities, technicalities. All right, the last game for the day. We are going to see, um, and, and there is still a chance, right? We said right now Chess Wizard is in third with two points. One of them might stay with two points. And especially if Bruce loses, he might drop down because of his being uh, uh, his win being a bye. So I, I'm pretty sure that should be the way it works. I am going, I'm already predetermined, we're going to go with whatever Lee Chess's algorithm determines. So we're not going to mess with it. But it's, it's, it'll be interesting. Oh, that's interesting because that actually protects that. So, you know, we always talk, we don't always, but we talk about in-between moves and it looked like, oh yeah, I can attack that before I protect that, but not true, guys. Not true. Now he could just take here and then he could back this up and he could start, and, and he's got, he's got a pass point. Now, can, can Sly finish off a game that he's winning? Because he's ahead on this one. Yes, it's a Swiss, Badster, definitely. Swiss-style tournament for the uh, candidates is a Swiss tournament. Another little tactical shot. So instead, again, instead of just protecting, we're doing an in-between move thinking to get rid of the bishops, and then it'll be rook against, uh, just two rooks against two rooks, which looks pretty good. Um, now he's gonna be able to double up, but he's still got a passer. He's got a passer, guys. He's got a passer, that's gonna be hard to beat, and he's up, let's see, three, six pawns versus four, he's up two pawns. So Sly just has to not blunder, and he should do fine. He can even, he's going to lose that pawn, so don't sweat it, right? Don't sweat it. He needs to get his other rook in the game, and he needs to get his pawn out of the way and get his queen and king into the game. But I think he just goes here and, and says, yeah, you can have that one. He's not even, he's, he's just going to start pushing. Me, I would have put the rook behind it first. Definitely want to trade. Definitely want to trade. And then you want to back up your pawn. You do not want to allow this because then you lose your major advantage. And he, guys, you know, ah. Yeah, but after you protect it, after you protect it, gotta protect it first. All right, so now, but then he's going to have back rank mate pass abilities. How do you not protect it first? How do you give away your advantage? Arg! Yes, very good, Bernardo. Agreed. Agreed! They belong behind pass pawns. I just don't understand why we give away free material. We, get, we had a pass pawn and we gave it away. Don't understand. And we did it again. He's pushing the pawn, and now he's going to be able to eat that pawn because there's no way to stop him from eating that pawn. And he doesn't go after it yet, but he will. He will. But that, you're pushing the pawn with no support. I, it's very frustrating watching people play chess. Uh, this is such a, and and I, I don't think... I don't think Matt's playing any superstar level. He's, he's it's uh, yeah, Sly's giving it to him. 
啊。That pass pawn was his, his passport to success. That was his only chance to win, and he gave it away. And he literally gave his chance away. He might still get a draw. If they draw, by the way, they both, they, they definitely take first and second, guaranteed. But he doesn't even have to give it to him. Yep, he doesn't even have to give it to him. If he eats this one, you eat that one, and now you're down to a one pawn versus rook endgame, and that is not easy for anyone. Why? Why are we? Ah! I need the night off, guys. I need time off tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Tennis. Good. Good. Tennis would be nice because this is frustrating me. I don't understand what's going on in this game. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. It's because I can't, because I'm not playing, I'm watching. I'm just watching. I'm, I'm, I, you know, you want to get in there. Thanks, thanks, bro. Thanks. Thanks for the advice. Thanks. Thanks. No, I haven't, Bernardo. How's your rating? If you do a lot of Queen Blunders, maybe you could play in the end of 1800 next time. I saw you join the four live stream team, so hopefully you can do that. Thanks, Ratchet. The truth hurts. Yes, thank you, Ratchet. The truth hurts. Thank you so much for pointing that out. I don't know what I'd do without your help on that one. Will he find it? Will he find it? He still has chances to draw. He still had chances to draw. He still had chances to draw. Ah. Oh, okay. Ha! <laughs> it needed stating? I mean, needed stating. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, now you can't take. And now guess what? Now you should do... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Right there. We, we got a possible... We had the possibility of a draw. We had a, po we had a draw sighting. There was a possibility of a draw. We had it. It was right there. We saw it. There was a possibility of a draw right there for all to see, all to take advantage of, and, and we didn't we didn't take candy. We didn't take the free candy when it was free. We didn't take the free candy. Yes, 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 yes. We didn't take the free candy. And now we don't know how to win the game, I guess. I don't know. I'm guessing we don't know what to do now, because now that's back to being free candy. And if this goes, you still take it, I would say, first maybe, but I guess you could take it there, but the uh, free candy again. We gave it back. It, it's it's now take it. Take it this time. Take it this Please take it. Oh, thank you. Ah, Valium? Right? Medi medication? Meditation. Not medication? I like medication. Oh, oh my gosh. How much you want to bet he's going to take that way? If you take if he takes that way, I bet he takes that way, and yeah, <laughs> yeah. This I have I have classical on. I should be fine. Now he just has to take that way, but will he? Okay, good. <sighs> now we have a draw. So these two will be playing for the championship. How's that? They both had chances. 
they play pretty equal. So Matt Bruce is, yeah, a little bit better than 1300, but there's your draw. And uh, so, yes, uh, Sly comes in first, Matt Bruce comes in second, uh, clear first and second, so that's nice. Didn't have a clear first, um, but with tie breaks, we easily had a uh, clear first. Um, so there you have it. Uh, Chess Wizard came in third. Flavio and um, both Flavio and LMP got uh, uh, draws. I mean, a win, but both of them were. <laughs> ah, you're officially embarrassed. You don't need to be. This is a good field. This was a good field. You had a draw. You should have uh, had a forced draw. And then the other one, you missed the uh, checkmate. You missed a mating net coming. If you had seen it early enough, you should have been able to find a way out of it. I thought you should have taken the pieces you did. You just you didn't notice the mating threat coming soon enough that you were able to um, do something about it. But otherwise, I thought you played fine. And you and that win you had was clean. There was absolutely nothing wrong with that win. So uh, good job, everybody. Good job. We are going to have the championship on Friday. It is the best of five. It is the best of five. So that means the first person to three points. Um, the best of five on Friday, 8.45, exact same time. I will be streaming at 8, but then the match starts at 8.45. It will be Matt Bruce against Sly Chess. You guys can start studying up against each other because you will be playing for the World Championship under 1800. And with your ratings, neither one of you are going to go over 1800 because of the match. But if you practice and play a lot, you might. So there you go. Um, you're, you're in there. Yeah, you guys, will be, I should see you Monday at 8.45. I will be sending you, uh, in fact, we can set that up right now. I'm almost done for the night, but we can go. And I have another, another team. And my other team is, where's my world champ? Oh, no, we don't do world championship team. That's right. We don't do a team because it's not a Swiss. It's going to be one against the other, just heads up. Head, one of you will challenge the other. Uh, it will be a 10 plus 3. It will be rated. And um, we, we should do a coin toss, but you know how well that works. Um, but usually it's left or right, or we figure it out. I forget how I did it last time. Hmm. Hey, yes, good job, Sly Chess. Good job, Checkmate. Um, you know, I, I'm not, I'm surprised no one's giving you any, uh, any love. Um, I will do it since they're not. Good job, guys. Good job. Um, Sly Chess, you are officially came in first. You officially came in first. Um, so, uh, how did I do it last time? How did we do a color last time? Flavio, do you remember? I mean, you were in it last time. And Ratchet, I don't remember how we picked the color last time. Hmm. I truly do not remember how we picked the color. I do not remember. I do not remember. Um, so, we need to figure out who's going to... Uh, because this way you guys can even practice the color before the match. All right, so, um, oh, you just told me? We did, oh, we did a coin toss? With this coin now? Because, uh, you know, hold on a second. All right, all right, all right, I got a coin. I need to find a coin. What is this one? Pretty cool. All right, so we got the side with the colors. We got the side without. Okay, real simple. I'm going to toss it up in the air. It will spin. I will catch it. I will catch it, watch. I'm gonna catch it and place it on the back of my hand. And then we will show you which which way it is. All right. So Sly, Sly, you are are you're technically you came well you came in first tie score but tie breaks you came in first. So you're gonna call it Sly. You're gonna either call it 
the color side, colorful or no color? Color or no color? Actually, actually, well, I forgot the way I did it last time on the coin toss, and we'll do it again. The colorful side will be black. This will be white. You don't have to call anything, Sly. And um, depending on which one turns up, that's what you will get, Sly. You will either have the piece full of color, which is the black pieces, or you'll have the piece with no colors, which is white. All right, here we go. I'm giving myself room so I don't drop my coin. Here we go. And turn it over, and you have black the first game. So Sly gets black the first game. Black the first game. Sly gets black the first game. No, first game only. I think you asked those questions. You know those answers already, checkmate. Um, no, it's only the first game. Wonder sometimes if you're just sandbagging us, man. But yeah, you uh, so so Sly gets black the first game. You get white the first game, and that will be on Friday at eight o'clock, eight forty-five, streaming at eight, eight forty-five. And uh, you guys can go start looking at each other's games and practicing or whatever else you want to do. But you will be playing for the second um, person to be making it as the world champion. And it will alternate every game. What do you mean? Makes sense to me. <laughs> yes. Yes, Badster. Checkmate is Matt. All right, guys, um, so that is what we're going to be doing for Friday, Friday, and uh, there will be the one-on-one -on -one match, best of five games starting at 8.45. Is there any questions, any questions you might have? Uh, you know the rules, you will be challenging each other to the matches, 10 plus 3, and we'll be here to watch, enjoy, and uh, we will follow you as you play and watch your games. Oh, uh, yes, 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 there you go. All right. Any other uh, questions, thoughts? I uh, hope not. <laughs> Good checkmate. Good. I didn't think you were. We watched your games. There were there were questions about man. This guy's he's playing pretty well, but no, I, I gave you the benefit of the doubt, and, and I I don't think you're sandbag that you sandbag not at all. Yeah, Sly. Yeah, you had many chances in that end game. You want to go over that later, Sly? So yeah. I'll, I'll agree with that assessment. And no, and no, I can't put you in the world uh, under 1,800 candidates because you have to earn that. You have to actually qualify for that. All right, so I will be cleaning out that team so that next month we do it again. We do it again. Uh, so, uh, oh, and whoever wins on Friday, besides being listed on my stream as the world champion, current reigning world champion, the reigning world champion, I will, all, oh, and if you guys can uh, get me an image for you, so Sly, I know that you, uh, um, you have, uh, I believe, let's see, so Sly, I know you stream, right, so I can use your icon right here, oh, where to go, there we go, you're streaming right now, so Sly, I can use your icon, oh, I'm on your stream, that's why I'm confused, so I'll use your icon, Sly, for the, uh, for your image if you like, totally up to you. But I can use your image and uh, checkmate, I don't believe you, um, right, you don't uh, stream, do you? I can't even find you on here. So, and Bolt never showed up. I'm still kind of disappointed that Bolt didn't show up. So checkmate, if you wanna send me a, a image that we can use for you, we will use your image so that um, when we do the, I'll show you the screen we're gonna use. This is the screen we use for the championship. So I'll be showing your game. We'll have your clock will show up in the middle. Right now it says Flavio, but it, that will be changing that. Um, in fact, we could change that right now. So that'll be, and uh, we're going to put the second person f uh, up here because you're challenging. 
You're challenging because the yeah, first place was Sly Chess. All right, and I'm using your names from uh, so when people join us, they'll see you streaming. So I need a new picture here. I need a picture for um, Matt, and I need a picture for Sly. And like I said, Sly, I can use the image that you have. Uh, if you want, I can use your icon. What? Yeah, you do. Yeah. You, you don't even have to willingly reach us. That that just gives that just gives the the turn that gives the crown to Sly Chess um, if you go over eighteen hundred. Ah, oh, yeah, fifteen fifty on Chess dot com puts you about eighteen hundred. So you're you're. You should be a lot stronger than maybe 1427, but I could still buy it that you'd be less than 1800. Oh, uh, you don't put a picture. Oh, I guess you could put it on um, my Discord. So you could go to the Discord, which I believe, I don't know if I have one under just the word Discord. That's a good question. I have no idea. Yeah, right there. Look at that. So you should be able to give me a picture there via the, on the Discord. Yeah, Sly would. Yeah, I, I think he does a lot of online. So it doesn't matter as long as they, as long as they. Oh, you're fourteen fifty peak on chess.com. So that's fine. So you two were stronger than your ratings for Lee Chess showed, but you're still under. You know, you're still legit within eighteen hundred on Lee Chess. Yeah, but you should you should play more on Lee Chess so we get your true rating for the future. Right, that'd be fair. As Ratchet knows. Ratchet was our first winner and, and, and had to give up his crown like the next day because he was over 1,800. He became over 1,800. Yep, you guys should just play more solid games. But, uh, I mean, if we go and look, let's say let's check out Sly. So Sly's played 159 rapid games. So it's not like, um, oh, wait, that was up 159 points. He's only played 20 rapid games. Yeah, so he hasn't played a lot of rapid games, right? Yeah, if he's only played 20. Let's see, only 20 rapid games? It looks like you've only played 20 rapid games. So yeah, that is not a lot. I'd, I'd have to I'd have to agree with that assessment. And Matt, uh, let's see, what Matt, you've played 36 games. So yeah, 20 and 36 means your ratings aren't as, as stable, locked in as they could be, right? So if we look at like uh, Flavio, Right? If we go to Flavio, it's just as a comparison, he's played 220 rapid games. So, yeah, yep, yep. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to make a uh, rule that you have to have played like so many games though either. It's just, I mean, that's just, it's going to knock people out of the running because they haven't played enough on Lee Chess. As long as people aren't throwing games or playing really poorly on Lee Chess, Chess to play. Um, then I'm okay. I don't care. But yeah, as you guys, you guys should play more games. I mean, you know, maybe as the world champion, we're going to say that, you know, you have to be over 100 games pretty quick. I don't know. We'll find out. But yeah, again, you know, because it's, if you're not, if you're normally playing on chess.com. Now, we could always say, use the equivalent ratings, which we do have. We, we've done some analysis on that. Uh, and other people have. And we could just say, well, since we're doing an under 1800 um, Lee Chess, that means you have to be under X chess.com rating. So I don't remember where I have that. I know I captured it somewhere. Yeah, so that's the problem, right? So if we do chess, chess, uh, let's see, dot, let's see, compare ratings on different chess sites. Okay, let's see if that's the one that. Here we go, here we go, here we go, now, here we go. And if we just use this one, right, because, again, uh, whatever one, let me go full screen. And I know you still won't be able to see it, Ratchet. got to get your glasses, man. Um, so if we go here, no, I don't want to sign up. I just want to see real quick, chess.com versus UCF. No, we want 
Chess.com versus Lee Chess Rapid, not Chess.com Blitz. We don't want Blitz. We want Lee Chess Rapid versus. Yes, he's not even giving me. I want Lee Chess Rapid versus Chess.com Rapid, and they don't actually give you that. So let's just check Chess.com versus USCF. Okay, and then we'll just use the USCF as our as our true rating in between. So Lee Chess Rapid, Lee Chess Rapid, oh, that's interesting. I want Lee Chess Rapid versus USCF. We said you have to be under 1800, and I don't know why, but it says Rapid 1805, so we'll have to do that, is equivalent to a 1580 USCF. 1580 USCF. So now we come back up here and we find 1580 USCF. So the 1580 USCF here goes across to rapid on chess.com is 1525. 15 <laughs> Sorry. All right, so 1525 chess.com uh, or um, 1800 Lee Chess. All right, so that's that's what we should use moving forward. Now I didn't, I, I can't, I don't want to retroactively do it. We just played a tournament, uh, but we'll do that. So if, and we'll wait till Friday, if Friday, after Friday, either one of them are over 1525, there'll be that champion chess for that one time. No, I'll let you two, you two play pretty equal. Let's just have you two play it out. You two will play it out. And if you're both over 1525chess.com, then um, you will just be disqual. you know, you'll be the champ. Whoever wins will be the champ for that one moment. You'll be the second champion because, you you know, I didn't have that rule in place. I, I can't go, I can't retroactively kick you guys out. That, that to me, doesn't make sense. Um, so... We'll go from there and we'll see who the champ is. But if you were over 1525chess.com, then, then we'll say, you know, you're out for the future. Um, you just won't be able to keep your crown, just like Ratchet had to give up his crown. All right, so you said your peak, and I, you got to show me because I don't know how. Um, I want to know how to find your peak. So the first thing is we want to be able to find people, right? So how do I search on chess.com? I'm not a big chess.com user. I like it. I've used it a little bit, but I don't know how to search it. How do you search on here? Find? Well, that's friends, right? But I guess I can put in people. So what's your name, uh, Sly Chess? I'm going to guess your Sly Chess. Oh, look at you, Sly Chess on Twitch. So is that you, Sly Chess? We'll, we'll add you as a friend anyway. And I, I need to look at your rating. And then, um, yeah, it's less than, yeah, it's still less than USCF. Um, and then what's Checkmate? What is, what is your name on, I'm going to guess it's Checkmate442 because Ratchet found you pretty fast. All right, let's see. So I've added you two as friends. How do I now find you when I want to go look at your specifics for you? How do I go look at someone? Don't know how you... Oh, there you go. Hey, and you're in Hong Kong? Awesome. Awesome. I, I, I love people from different... Uh, I love the fact that we get people from all over the world. So, your rapid rating? Uh, is this you even? Because it's not shown a lot of... Oh, but you've been since January 2013. But this... I don't think this is you, is it? This can't be you, is it? So what is your uh, name on chess.com? Because I don't think this is you. I think I just friended some somebody I shouldn't be friending because I don't know who this is. Any, any uh, information here? I'm, 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 I'm looking for information. So, uh, Sly Chess. Uh, 
Let's slide to us on Twitch, right? That's interesting. Search is out. I'm not so uh, I'm not so impressed with this. Oh, did he leave? That's possible. So Ratchet, you looked up his rating. What was how did what what name did you look him up under? Go to connect friends. Okay, connect. Ah, connect. And then uh, friends. New topic. No, connect. Friends. Okay. And. So how. Oh, he just said it in chat. So I don't know what he was. Oh, if he's gone, we don't know. But I don't think he's checkmate uh, 442 because I don't see him. Uh. <laughs> I mean, he, he didn't have any games. Yeah, his peak, but checkmate 442 wasn't right. Yeah, not his username. Okay. And uh, Sly Chess hasn't uh, accepted my friend request, I guess, yet. That's why I don't see him under my friends, I, ex I assume. Right? Matt the winner. Oh, yeah. So I just, I just asked somebody to be my friend that's not my friend. Uh, that I should have... <laughs> Or I don't know if I shouldn't, but I mean, it's, uh, uh, yeah, someone who I don't know. <laughs> oh, someone I don't know. So, well, oh, there you go, Matt. All right. Thank you, Matt. Oh, we can add you as a friend. Uh, but you have to accept it, I guess. But how do I, why don't I even, I still don't, Matt. All right, Matt the winner. Uh, no, I don't know how this works. I don't know how you find anybody in this chess.com. Uh, I see it over here. Oh, there you go, Matt. Okay. Well, you've only played, have you only been playing here since December? Hey, Bernardo, thank you. So your, uh, where's your ratings? New games. So if we look for a rapid game, I guess. Yeah, this is too confusing to me. I'll just have to trust you guys. You played at least 2,000 games? Since December. Wow. Busy, busy, busy. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll just trust you. You let me know what your rating is. If your peak was over 1525... Then, uh, but, you know, where are you now? 1450? I think you're right there at the edge. You're at the edge. All right. Um, so I, I got that. Now, since you guys know chess.com and I don't, I did a friend request to somebody that I don't want to do a friend request to because I did the wrong person. So um, can I change that, right? And you guys got to tell me how you change that too then. So if I go here and I say like, okay, that was checkmate 442. And I, I go grab checkmate 442, cancel friend request. Found it. All right, good. Okay, good. I feel better about that at least. All right. And Sly Chess, uh, you're in here. How, um, what's your level, Sly Chess? Uh, and I take it you were Sly Chess on Twitch, Sly Chess, did I get it right? And it's it's not finding you anymore. I don't know again. Is it Sly Chess or is it Sly Chess on Twitch? If I search on Sly Chess, what does it bring up? Anything? No, two different people. One word, Sly Chess. On Twitch, one word. Like that. Oh, look at that. Nice logo. <clears throat> I'm going to have to grab that logo for later. Got to remember to do that for Friday. All right. So if we looked at, uh, where does it, oh, Rapid right there. 1298. So you're fine. Your Rapid's fine. And then Checkmate, your peak is 1527? No. No, you're kidding me. 1527? See, we got to allow that because 1525 and it's supposed to be recent. I think we're okay. I think you guys are okay. 
But as you play in chess.com and you get over 15, 25, you'll have to give up your crown. Yeah, so that's fine. And his peak, was it early? I mean, hey, we're talking about, you know, yeah, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Good. We, we're not disqualifying anybody. We'll keep it as is. Um, you guys will get to play in the tournament again. Uh, you guys will play against each other. But if you get over 15, 25 in, um, if you get over 15, 25 in chess.com, we're going to have to take your crown away, whoever wins. All right, sounds good to me. All right, Ratchet, uh, no, it wasn't Ratchet, it was Sly Chess. Sly Chess, you still on? We can raid you and you can uh, be telling everybody about uh, maybe go over your game. You might not want to go over your game. You might not want to give anything away to Checkmate. You might want to be careful because he might come and watch and he might lurk and, and learn and see what your ideas are. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, tomorrow at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time in the morning, 11 o'clock, I should be doing a one-on-one -on -one with Brandon. Feel free to join us for that. And then Friday, 8.45 is the match. 8 o'clock, we start streaming. I will see you guys later. Have a great night. And wish me luck.